All right. Welcome, everyone. Let's just uh, get in the very end of that off. Welcome, everyone, to another Legacy of the Beast stream. Uh, now, this is a little bit different than uh, some of our uh, previous streams. We have uh, some great like news and announcement to make today. Um, <laughs> nice green screen work. Thanks, guys. Now, everyone, um, we actually have some other friends watching uh, today um, from, from Facebook and from YouTube. Now, if you guys are over on those channels, welcome to the stream. Um, we are streaming over on Twitch uh, natively. So if you wanted to join the conversation with the Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast uh, community, uh, pretty much everyone is over here. Um, so if you wanted to jump in, the link should be in the, uh, in the streams that you're, you're watching on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, so feel free to join us if you wish to, but you're also welcome to stay over there on, on Facebook and uh, YouTube. Uh, hey, everyone. No headset today. I went with the, uh, went with the small earbuds. Um, but everyone, thank you so much. So, um, you guys like the background? What do you guys think of it? Does everyone think, what does everyone think of the background? Good? What do you think? I think maybe it needs a little bit more, I think it needs a little bit more fire. Maybe a little bit of, uh, maybe some, some Viking Eddie. What do you think? How does that look? How we looking there? Looks pretty good, right? And I mean, Eddie can't Eddie can't battle alone. In in Legacy of the Beast, Eddie always has his allies, right? And um, his allies are always there to fight beside him. And you know, the stronger the ally, the better. So we have a brand new ally to show you today. And his name is the Berserker. And there he is right above me. Now, the Berserker is a very special ally. Some of you might recognize him from a very special Amon Marth album called The Berserker. <laughs> so, it is my pleasure to announce today um, that Legacy of the Beast is now in collaboration with Amon Marth uh, to bring you uh, The Berserker to Legacy of the Beast. Tomorrow at 5 p.m., there will be a brand new event. The Berserker will go live, and every, everyone will be able to collect them. So, um, I have one more announcement and one more surprise for everyone today. Um, so, if you just give me just a second here, I have with me today a very special guest. And I'm going to unmute on our call. And, uh, Yoka, are you, are you available? Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm here. Excellent. All right, here we go. Um, All right, every, guys. Everyone, welcome uh, Yoka Walgreen to the uh, to the stream. Uh, the drummer from Amon Marth. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Man, it's it's amazing to have you here. Um, I know we've been chatting um, all morning and getting things ready, um, but I don't know if you can see our chat. They're they're going nuts. Lots of holy shits. Lots of uh, pog champs. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, everyone's... I have it in the background here. <laughs> <laughs> So that's awesome. So um, I, I just let everyone know that we, we, we started the collaboration or it's starting tomorrow, um, releasing mm -hmm. the, uh, the Berserker. And I wanted to kind of get you a couple of questions in with you um, for everyone to hear, get kind of their answers. So um, whenever you guys were kind of creating the album and you were looking at like, you know, finding out like research about the Berserker, um, mm -hmm. was there anything that surprised you about them or their history whenever you were looking through it all? Well, first of all, I got to say, I got to be honest, right? Uh, I wasn't honestly aware that there actually was berserkers uh so i learned a few things <laughs> okay <laughs> uh but mostly their their brutality you know right for sure and, and i'll tell you what that that is uh held up inside of legacy the beast we'll get to see um, him in action uh later on um so whenever you did find out that there were berserkers and so on um oh wait and hang, that... on, hang on oh sorry go i gotta fix fix a thing i, I forgot hang on hang on, hang on. Um, all right, now my chat can hear me as well. Oh, Sorry. perfect. They can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? There's going to be a recording of this um, available oh, afterwards. No. So, uh, yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> so if anyone miss, missed anything, they'll be able to, uh, to jump in and, um, and, and catch up on it later on that this afternoon. Awesome. Awesome. Um, all right. So 
like for Legacy of the Beast players, it's going to be really fun to be able to use the Berserker in battles. Um, so what was it like having this character that inspired your last album, like now featured in a in a mobile game with Iron like Iron Maiden's Eddie to kind of battle against the forces of evil? Mm -hmm. uh, how how what was the question? How how it feels like? Yeah, how does it feel like like to have this mm -hmm. this character from your album now available like in a in a game? Like, how, did you guys uh, expect this to happen? Ah, uh, it's uh, it's great. When we when we, when we first got the invite to uh, to have our berserker in the game, it was uh, unreal because yeah. you know Eddie Eddie is legendary, and uh, now that now that we created our own uh, our own Eddie, so to speak, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's it's I mean it's it's perfect. It's a perfect match, and uh, we're truly honored to have to have him there with you. Oh, I totally agree that he's a he's a perfect match. Um, yeah, I fit, think so. Fit, fits right into our whole Norse pantheon of characters. Um, totally. And the uh, the new dungeon, like it, it just looks amazing. Giving giving him story and background inside of Legacy of the Beast has been um, so fun for the team, for the entire team that's been working on it. Oh yeah. Um, all right. So here's a, here's a question, kind of like for you, like kind of directly. So. The berserkers were kind of seen to have like almost superpowers back in the in 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 their day. Um, if there were any kind of like video game superpowers that you could have or be like a berserker, uh, what would they be? What po powers would they be for you? I mean, from from a superhero perspective, I, I would lo love to be able to fly, okay. <laughs> but uh, the berserker doesn't fly. So no. if we go to the berserker, uh, I mean, the strength, of course. And the the physical stamina uh, within fights. Not that I'm fighting a lot, but it'd if be I nice. Were, to it'd know. be nice to have that stamina, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's excellent. Thank you so much. Um, I don't really have any other questions for you, but was there anything else that you wanted to kind of um, put in for the for the stream today? Uh, no, real, not really. We're, we're of course very super stoked to to uh, to, uh, to be here. And uh, I've seen some footage already, and uh, I mean, it looks amazing, guys. Everyone's gonna love this. They're fucking better. <laughs> <laughs> no, they will. They will for sure. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, I have one last kind of um, announcement for for everyone on the stream here um, in regards to having um, Yoke on on here with us. Um, he's going like make sure you stick around to the end of this stream um, for, on Legacy of the Beast because you guys are gonna get sent over to, to hang out. Um, in his stream at the very end um, and, and I think there's going to be some gameplay some games being played and, and just kind of some hanging out you guys can chat about the game and um, maybe hey maybe give him some pointers on on getting some of his characters leveled up <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. excellent well, well Yoke, it was a pleasure having you on with us here um, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip out I'm gonna showcase the rest of the stream so I know you're live um, and then you're gonna be sh showing off the uh, the stream on your channel right yes sir excellent. we're gonna check out the gameplay and uh whatever you're up to excellent 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 all right perfect well in that case i will i will chat to you later thanks very much for joining all right us. cheers man peace bye <laughs> bye all right everyone i'm gonna jump across here and boom done all right so there we go how amazing was that like that's insane <laughs> will we be playing in a monomarth song in the game i don't believe so we got it we have invaders Got uh, which kind of fits for the uh, for the Viking invasion. All right, guys. So let's see. We're gonna get the um. Oh, my screen's kind of looking a little funny right there. That's okay. Is he awakenable? Not right away. But let's have a look at him, shall we? So let's see. I'm gonna pull up the game. Just like that. There we are. And everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been amazing so far. Um, so we're going to move on to the, the rest of the stream, kind of back to the way we have been doing the, uh, the showcase streams um, in the past. Um, and, we'll, and we'll kind of go on from there. So we're going to look at the character, uh, the Berserker, which is right here in front of us. Um, and then we're going to uh, have a look at the, uh, the Viking Invasion Dungeon, which is the upcoming event and dungeon that will be released uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Look at that smile, yeah. Well, I think it's more of a, a grimace. I think we'd we'd call it a grimace. But one of our one of the favorite things that we 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 kind of changed um, right away with the Berserker from their album, and this was um, 
with like feedback and everything from Amonomarth is that we give him the uh, the Amonomarth A um, for his for his shield, which uh, we were pretty stoked about. We think that looks pretty awesome. Will the Berserker be awakenable? Not right away. No. He will be a he's a five star warrior character that has a ton of HP and a ton of attack. Um, his skills, let's have a look at some of his skills here. So his skills are actually um, amazingly named after uh, songs from the Berserker album. So his, his uh, basic attack is Raven's Flight, which will deal three hits of physical damage to a single target um, and deal additional devastating hits of physical damage based on the number of beneficial effects, including gold effects that you already have. So if you've got a bunch of gold effects on your character, hitting the, the bad guys is going to knock them out. Um, you'll gain charge and perfect revenge for two turns once you've used this attack, as well as inflicting bloodlust to all enemies for nine turns. Baphomet killer alert. I see that in chat. Yeah, very much. Very well could be. Very well could be. And sorry, one second, guys. I'm just gonna put there. Perfect. All right. There we are. Sorry, I needed to move things around there just after our call. So that was his, his basic attack. Now on to his power attack, which is Crack the Sky. It's a four cost power attack. Um, it's also gonna deal three hits of physical damage to a single target with a 50% chance to critically strike. Um, it will transform all negative effects on the Berserker um, into random beneficial effects, beneficial effects for nine turns um, and transform all beneficial effects, including golden effects on the target en enemy into random negative effects, including silver effects. For nine turns so that's pretty crazy that's going to be like a big like changer for changing like removing golden effects and silver effects from other players um you'll also gain um 100 critical strike chance for two turns once you've used this attack um his passive is fafnir's fafnir's gold um you'll gain 12 power for your team after your first action in battle so as soon as you use your 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 basic attack, you're gonna go up to full um in your your power, which is 12. Um, and it'll heal you up to max HP if you have a hundred percent critical strike chance at the start of your turn. So after you've started using the uh the crack the sky power attack where you gain the hundred percent critical strike chance, your passive is gonna kick in and make sure that you're healed up to max HP. Um permanently increasing your attack by a hundred percent. Um, if you have char have charge after each action and charge comes in from your from your basic, you'll gain charge and perfect revenge after you've used your basic. And it will grant you a random offensive effect for two turns each ally after each action. That's pretty nuts. A very good passive. <laughs> and everyone is going to be able to get this guy um, within our uh, Berserker calendar. Now, I... I had an image of that and I seem to have misplaced it but it's very similar to all of our other characters or sorry very similar to all of our other um calendars that we've done it's a seven day calendar with multiple rewards um all the way through um and that will be starting tomorrow um that is Tuesday the 12th at 5 p.m Pacific Standard Time so let's have a look at um really quickly the warrior angel and I wanted to point this guy out. He's one of our Avalonian characters. For any of our new viewers today, um, he is one of our Avalonian um, characters that's go also going to be available in the same event as the, uh, as the Berserker. This is the, uh, the Warrior Angel. And there are a couple of other angels and so on in our game, including Gabriel, um, who was available um, a while back there in our um, Gauntlet event. And she will be also available in uh, the store where you can kind of buy fragments and earn her over time. Um, we have a whole pantheon, um, as I mentioned with with Yoka, that of of Norse characters, including uh, multiple uh, classes of Odin. This is our cosmic Odin. Um, we have Ragnar Lothbrok. Uh, we have uh, Freya, uh, who we'll be seeing more of very soon. And then we even have our own uh, Viking Eddy, who um, is going to be battling along with who you saw in the uh, in the wallpaper there with us. This one. Uh, right here, there's Viking Eddie. So he's going to be bat battling alongside the uh, the Berserker in the uh, in the Viking Invasion dungeon, which we're going to go have a look at right now. 
But if you're brand new, you'll also be able to see that we have a whole bunch of uh, album eddies from from kind of albums from Iron Maiden. Here's the uh, the Killers album, and there's Eddie from that album. We have a uh, number of the Beast Eddie. Got himself a little beast on strings, which is amazing. And there's so many more. So if you're interested, please go ahead and you know jump in and, and start looking around and, and you'll be able to see what you can find. All right, so let's jump out of the team screen. We'll go ahead across into our time rift. And let's have a look at our Viking Invasion Dungeon. There he is, the Berserker. We love the art for this as well. The ridge that he shows right away. All right, let's jump in. So the um, the dungeon's going to have uh, four difficulties, and we're going to have a look at the normal difficulty today, which also has a story. So today we're going to take with us. I think I want to take uh, Fenrir. Yeah, I think I want to take Fenrir with us. And we can see that our our boss is the. Altus champion. All right, let's jump in. Who wrote the story this time? Um, another member of our team. Another one of our designers. Oh, there's Whip. Hey, Whip. Glad you made it. <laughs> Oh, apologies. I missed the, uh, the talismans for the Berserker. Yes, he has three, three red slots for, for his talismans. I'm, my apologies for not showing that, guys. I'm, the, the chat's moving a little faster for me today, and there's a couple of other things I'm looking at. So um, my apologies. All right, so we've got a story to go through here. I'm going to shift myself slightly to the side just to make sure I don't actually block anything. All right, so Freya is going to be um, a big part of our, our conversation here with the, uh, with, the, with the Berserker. Talking about seeing the Blackbirds fly over Stamford Bridge. On this day, however, we have not the time to concern ourselves with, the feeding, with feeding the greed of kings and jarls. Well, the, the game sign. My apologies. Here we go. Where's that level? Thank you, Brickster. Appreciate that. And <laughs> yes, the music is invaders. <laughs> so there's a tent that grips these foreign lands and seeks to grow stronger. There's Eddie's concerned about what's happening. And this is the uh, yeah the brand new Viking invasion dungeon. So the Berserker was the last remaining survivor of a settlement. The rest were ritual ritualistically murdered while they slept. Bit, bit gruesome. Freya had found him at dawn's light, fir first light, not far from here. You can see the uh, the raven in the background here. See him on the log. Lots of little details and Easter eggs hidden throughout uh, throughout this dungeon. And a couple of things that we haven't tried before, I'll be able to show some of the uh, the effects um, a little later on. Um, so Freya's still talking about how... He... Oh, can I translate Eddie for you? Unfortunately, I'm not an Eddie translator, um, and I don't know any, which means I'm not sure if there are any. Um, but he was covered in blood and surrounded by a mass of strange-looking twisted corpses. It seemed like it was one against all. Another Monomarth uh, Easter egg there for us. All right, and then the knights are going to ask us to halt. And it looks like a fight's about to break out. But the berserker's ready for it. He says, come at me, you dogs. My axe shall, sun shall sunder your flesh from bone. And here goes the attack. And Eddie's ready for it as well. All right, let's see. Will we try the berserker right, right away? Let's try him on the uh, this knight here at the front. We're going to try his basic attack, which is Raven's Flight. Done. Amazing. And then let's show off Eddie's, uh, Eddie's power attack, shall we? Let's 
There's everyone's done. <laughs> Only Eternals can translate Eddie. I think that's probably accurate, Raphael. I think that's probably accurate. So the knights are still wanting to purge us from this land, calling us heathens. Um, some of the effects that were added in on this dungeon, um, I, I love the uh, the little kind of uh, glow bugs that are kind of appearing over here on the forest edge, and we have a like a morning mist rolling in over the uh, over the river here. Maybe it's a fjord. Um, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Um, but this 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 mist is uh, pretty excellent and beautiful. And I'll switch across and we'll have a look at Eddie's past and present attacks um, and his future ones in a few moments. Back into here. All right. So the knight thinks that the, the Berserker's people are savages. I don't believe that's true. Um, our people are not savages like yours, beast. We don't live for the kill. Another reference. No women or children died by our hands. So maybe it wasn't the uh, the knights that caused the, uh, the the slaughter at the village. We will, however, see that you are reunited with them in hell. Oh, he wants to send us to the afterlife. Bray is a little unsure about that. <laughs> Sorry, that Chris brute chews upon his own shield like an animal. Talking about the berserker. <laughs> All right, show them no mercy, apparently. The little Berserker's ready for them. Tear, guide my blade, as, as the battle begins. All right, let's have a look at, uh, at Freya's attack, shall we? We'll, uh, we'll aim at the, uh, the archer over here, the Mongol archer. Oh, it's been blocked. wonder what... Oh, yeah, that's right, that's her passive. 50% chance to take no damage. That'll happen with the... Uh, with the archer. So let's try Eddie's Fury attack. I think that's probably going to be a really good option for us right here. Oh, and they all died and we got the uh, the line before we were meant to. <laughs> I fear their leader spoke the truth. Your kin met their fate at a, at a far more sinister and twisted hand. Signs point this way. Let's go. And here's Eddie's Fury. That'll end the battle for us. Dark Star Clairvoyant isn't the corrupted clairvoyant. Dark Star Clairvoyant? No, she's just a, another um, special edition character that we have. What rewards does this dungeon give out? I'll show you those at the very end. As for the, the event rewards, I won't have those available, but they will be available tomorrow. So we're back to the village, the ravens behind there as well. So dogs of sea and stone, and the Danes, Dane laws hour grows short. Your, show, your souls shall fuel her rising. Oh, the, the, the cultists have arrived. And there's a little pun for us. What file magic is at work here? <laughs> Alright, it's attack time. Let's go back to the Berserker. Let's try his power attack out. And we'll get this guy at the front here for us. So his power attack's like a shout that just causes the bad guys to die instantly. And we'll go back to, to Eddie's power attack, which he's a multi-hitter character. Very useful in, in dungeons where you have to hit lots of guys at the same time. Ah, so Freya has seen a cult like this moving before, seeking to suppress the free will of the denizens of Midgard. Interesting. Something different about these ones. A more sinister, powerful presence is at work. Interesting. I need a jitter click in, in order to perfect hit power abilities. Yeah, w with a mouse it's not as easy. Um, because I'm having to emulate this on the computer, um, it's uh, I am using I am using a mouse. But playing on mobile, it's much easier to get those perfect attacks. Um, so I would definitely suggest playing there. <laughs> uh, so we've got a cultist leader here saying that the Everwinter has begun. War, famine, everlasting cold, and dark embrace us. These guys really like a bit of pain, don't they? Well, let's let's show them some more pain, I think. Soon the rooster's cry will, cry will signal the epoch of the gods of dawn. Ooh, do they speak of the prophecy that tells of the end of times? Who knows what the end of times is in, uh, in Norse mythology? Of 
Ragnarok, there it is. <laughs> Alright, Ragnarok, to follow the gods, the death of the world tree. Yggdrasil. Alright, and the Berserker's back to Chaz. His blood spilt, thirsts for blood repaid. Our deaths, I have seen this day come. And he's ready for a fight. The Valhalla's gates, we stand without fear. Vengeance is my name. Ready to avenge his entire village. Here we go. Let's give him a chance at that. Let's use his uh, his power attack. Here we go. Huge crit. There we are. And we'll go with... Uh, well, let's try Fenrir, shall we? Fenrir can attack the main guy in the middle here. Fenrir is not as powerful, but you can see he still makes light work of these guys. So many lyrics from Monomarth. Yeah, it's great. We... Uh, um, the, the designer who wrote this dungeon had a really good time writing this one and um, and working with the, uh, the Amonomarth team to get everything uh, together was an, an absolute dream. It was so much fun. And it's been difficult keeping this quiet for so long. <laughs> so they all got revived there. Now that's going to be a passive or a, or a talisman on one of these characters. But one of the things that you want to do in the game, um, if you're new to it, that is, um, is work on things like um, finding abilities that counter the abilities of the enemy. So if we have a look here at, uh, say, this character that we have selected, this is his uh, passive ability. So you want to find ways that your characters can counter that, that, that passive. Make sure that you can finish the battle um, and win. So there we go. Be, okay, we'll have a look at that later. Um, so this is even more serious than I thought. We must find the leader of this cult and remove their heads from their shoulders. Berserker is definitely ready for a fight. I, <laughs> Crusader, I did not write this one. <laughs> I've written a couple of uh, I've written a couple of uh, of dungeons, but not this one. Abaton, Iron Maiden, that would be cool. The character from Disturbed, yeah. The future collabs with other bands? I would say that it's a very high possibility that there will be more. But let's focus on this one. Alright, so the Berserker has come face to face with the leader, the cultist champion, um, who have, has caused this, uh, this slaughter at his village. The pathetic worms, the Thunder God's gaze does not extend to these lands. And we can see... <clears throat> This is a symbol that's used uh, by a Monomarth or uh, for Loki. Is that the symbol of Loki behind the Raven Witch? <laughs> there you go. The kin fall on the on the battlefield as we speak, victims of their own insatiable greed. Third winter grows close, and soon the Great Wolf's Maul will swallow your lands. Your blood will fuel his rise. It's my understanding that this is all prophecy for, um, for Ragnarok, and this is all taken um, that th these characters are trying to cause uh, Ragnarok to, to begin. But the Berserker today is not going to have any of it. Let's see if he can power attack the uh, this cultist champion, our our uh, our Raven Witch. Seems to have found herself a, a group of foes to fight with, and there we go. One shot, and they're all done. I'm on a Martha's epic live. I have I have yet to see them live, and I really hope that in the in the near future, um, I get to as well as everyone gets to, because that would be uh, pretty amazing. All right, so Frey is curious as to have three winters really pass without interruption. In our people's pursuit of the spoils of war, we must have truly lost our connection to the land and sea. This does not bode well. When once again we can set our sails, we must return to our ancestral home. We must see with our own eyes that these cultists did not speak the truth, or if they do, the end of days awaits us all. And another couple of lines from... Uh, from the Berserker, fly with your ravens. My destiny now awaits on the bridge. Die well, Norsemen. We will meet again in Odin's Golden Hall. This isn't an April Fool's. No, it is not. 
there we go. Victory in our in our normal version of Viking Invasion Dungeon. We got a little bit of level leveling up to do for our Fenrir. That's awesome. And here are some of our first time rewards for this dungeon. So first time through, you're going to get Vengeance Souls, which are going to be the souls available in the um, Viking Invasion Dungeon. We're going to get Skill Shards, we're going to get um, some Ironite, and we're going to get some Dominance Talismans um, as well, which will fit quite nicely on the uh, on the Berserker whenever you re receive him. All right, so we're going to go back to the um, My Team screen. What's the unique reward from the Vengeance Soul? So the character that's available in the Vengeance Soul is the um, is the Warrior Angel. The Warrior Angel will be the uh, the character available there. He also has uh, three red slots for talismans, just like the uh, the Berserker that I forgot to show off earlier. He has his three red slots for his talismans. So I believe I forgot to add them to my account, but the uh, the Ragnarok talismans would be excellent uh, for him. They would be a really great uh, Norse um, pantheon of like kind of the talismans that we have, which of which we have loads. I believe I added. Where are they? Yeah, we've got our runic talismans here. Or um for assassin characters. So these would have been great on Fenrir if I had remembered to add them. We have uh giant talismans like the uh the ice giants in, in Norse lore. Um and these are great for our Magus characters. So that's it. That's that's what I have for everyone today. How exciting is that though? Berserker looks like Siege. <laughs> I wish. I wish you, you you flatter me. <laughs> Do we want to have a quick look at what the uh, what the warrior angel angel does? We can have a quick look at him. So his present attack is here. He deals three hits of true damage. He's got a fifty percent chance to critically strike. Uh, he takes two blinding burns and perfect blind for three turns on all enemies. He's going to grant accuracy up with a fifty percent chance. Grant all allies, excluding himself, an extra turn. Two extra turns, so that'll be pretty good. And then we also have his power attack, which is the Retribution Flash. The seven cost power attack. It was a little more expensive than the Berserker's one. So it's going to deal three hits of tree damage to a single target with a 50% chance to critically strike. Um, it'll remove all innate stat reduction effects from all allies. Um, it'll grant a perfect immortality, perfect revenge, and perfect immunity for two turns to all allies. Now, really quickly before I go on with this character, if you're seeing all of these abilities and you're and you're brand new to Legacy of the Beast, because I know there's a lot of people here today, um, and a lot of people watching on other platforms, um, if you're new, don't worry about all of these. These are like there's a lot of um, really great effects, abilities, and everything in the game, um, but that comes with time and, and learning and playing. Um, just know that this is an awesome character. <laughs> he's very powerful. He'll be available in that Viking Invasion dungeon. Um, and um, he's going to be a really great um, ally to have. So he's also going to reflect... Um, sorry, I missed a, spot, missed a step. So he's going to permanently increase attack and magic by 100% on all allies. Those are your stats. Um, he's going to reflect 100% of the damage received um, on himself as true damage back to his each enemy for one turn. And he'll also grant all allies, excluding himself, an extra turn. So both his his basic attack and his power attack are going to help with uh, granting extra turns to the rest of your team, which will really help with making sure that you're you're laying out that damage as, as fast as possible without giving the enemy team any uh, chance to, to attack. But his passive, bit of a paragraph here. Um, and one thing that's very interesting about our angels is that they all work well together. So whenever you have more angels on your team, uh, they're going to be more effective. Um, so Vengeful Zenith, um, remove all ne negative effects, um, including silver effects from yourself at the start of battle and at the start of your turn. A 50% chance to counterattack when no one, sorry, when anyone on your team takes damage. He's also going to counterattack as well as grant extra turns. That's pretty awesome. Um, you'll deal three hits of true damage to random enemies for each ally with revenge or a perfect revenge at the start of your turn and after the battle starts. So you'll grant revenge to all allies for two turns if that ally doesn't have revenge or perfect revenge after each action. Um, 
lots to kind of take in there. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of text. So if, there, if there's stuff in there that you don't quite understand, don't worry. It'll definitely come. Now, here's the part I was mentioning where you have more angels working together. Um, you're going to have a more uh, powerful team. So if you've got the angel sentinel or angel gunner or Gabriel on your team, um, you're going to permanently increase their max HP by 100% at the start of battle, granting them a perfect titan shield for one turn after each action as well. And as I mentioned before, he has three red slots for his talisman. So guys, just one last reminder for the uh, for the Berserker um, and for the Viking Invasion event for everyone watching. It's not available in the game today. All right. Um, he will be available uh, in the game tomorrow. That is April 13th um, at 5 p.m. All right. 5 p.m. Pacific time. So roughly... 24, roughly 30 hours from, from right now is when he will be available in the game. You'll be able to collect him using the in-game calendar. You just need to log in seven times within 30 days. It doesn't have to be in a row uh, to collect him because he's the last reward on that calendar. <laughs> CET Irish time, that's midnight. Perfect. Okay, so you guys are going to work out the, uh, the release times in chat. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Well, was there any other questions that I can maybe answer really quickly from the uh, from the chat? Was there anything that I missed? Let me see. I'll pull you guys across onto my screen so I can get you in front of me. What was it like designing a character based on a different band? How much input did a Monomarth have in that process? They were with us from the beginning. Um, the Berserker um, was, was their decision to add. He was the character they chose. Um... They worked extremely closely at the beginning with our um, art team, making sure that all of the um, collaboration art that they chose. I wonder if I actually give me give me two seconds, guys. Let me see if I can find really quickly. One. Um, let I might have some of our sketches and. Um, a concept art from the Berserker whenever we were getting started. But yeah, the, the Amonomarth team, like all of them, were available and, and working on this from the, from the get-go. It's been a blast. It has been so much fun. Um, it's obviously the first time for us doing something like this, so it was a little different. Um, but the Amonomarth team made it so amazingly um, flawless and seamless and and they were just they were just as excited as we were, so that meant we got to get through that and do it so well. It was great. Yeah, give me two seconds. I have um I have a couple of uh I have a render of it. Guys, this. This. I'll show you guys if I go to. This screen, I can add a play capture real quick. Oh, no, I can't. A lot of window capture. There we are. There's one of our renders of the, uh, the Berserker that the art team created. And there's his official artwork as well in the background just above me. What do you guys think of that? Looks badass. I agree. Did the bear try to eat him? Yeah, and he failed. The bear, the bear failed. And uh, the Berserker won on it. <laughs> All right. So, guys, um, I'm going to call it there. That's um, a, a great ending, um, in my opinion, to the uh, to the stream. A um, couple, of, couple of comments just for everyone who's watching from the different platforms, as well as who's new and joined us here on Twitch today. Thank you so much for joining us on Twitch, if you did. Thank you so much, everyone, for all of the follows. I saw them coming in like wildfire all day. Um, if... 
you are new to the channel and you do want to see more of these chat like streams and one of the cool things that happens in these streams as well we usually do like two a month is that a lot of the time we'll give away free characters um so if you're interested in continuing playing legacy of the beast and collecting characters being here um and just hanging out and having fun with the community is a really great way to like have a chance at getting more um and learning more about the game as well um so we're definitely going to do at least one more stream this month uh showing off some stuff that's coming later on um we might even just do a little gameplay stream where i kind of i hang out and play the game with you guys um so jump across follow the channel follow all of our social channels so that's the legacy of the beast on on facebook and twitter and instagram get more updates about the uh, release of the game um, and events that are coming and um, i'll be able to kind of have way more conversations with you guys in the near future um and hey we got one last thing to do before i go today i want everyone everyone who is around and everyone who's available to join this this raid we are going to raid one second and remember how to do this yeah i need to go to one second We are going get this right. Just a second. Let's see if this works oh my god it's working all right everyone stream's gonna end real quick here everyone's gonna go across over to yoke we're gonna have a quick chat with him see what he's up for doing today thank you everyone absolutely amazing stream today um absolutely amazing all right everyone have yourselves a great day have a great week and stay safe guys